guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kristen Dominique. Welcome to my little home on YouTube. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this glassy, glowy look right here. I think it's so beautiful. It's not like sweaty or like oily looking. It's nothing like that. It's just a fresh, glossy, glass shine glow. And I feel like that is really popular right now, especially when you have a really nice product just, just to give you that without having to put on a ton of different skincare and then a ton of different glossy makeup things to put on top of your skin. I have it all in one for you in this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and love it. And just to let you guys know, the Prisma Glow is available right now, so you can go and buy it. The link will be in the description box, so make sure to check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad fam. And without further ado, let's get into this glassy shine makeup look. Before I do any makeup on my face, I think it's so important to tell you guys, especially for this type of look, to really hydrate your skin. My current favorite moisturizer right here. And I'm gonna just put that on. I put it on every morning. I'll have it linked in the description in case you guys are wondering what my favorite moisturizer is. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the face. We're gonna get really, really glassy skin today. I'm gonna use the Prisma Glow Highlighter FX Palette and I'm gonna take skin gloss as a primer all over the face. And to do that, I'm gonna use a little brush. This is a foundation brush. You can even mix this in with your foundation. I just want to have a little bit of a glossy base before I start my makeup. Skin gloss has a nice tackiness to it, so your makeup is gonna apply even better if you use it underneath foundation. And it's just gonna give you that extra boosting natural glow. So I'm gonna put that right along my cheeks, on the chin. And you see you guys, if you have oily skin, I feel like you don't usually wanna gravitate towards this type of look, but it can look really beautiful and not oily, just like a nice, smooth, dewy looking skin type. I personally love it because I have dry skin, but I try to look as glassy and like glowy as possible. And with this, you can see it just gives you the most natural glow and it is a little tacky. So your foundation is gonna stick to your skin really, really nicely. Now I have that all over my face, it is ready for foundation and foundation I'm not using too much lately I've been liking a little bit more of a lighter coverage I've actually not tried this so this is my first time trying it in this video with you guys but I've heard such great things about it this is the Bobbi Brown skin Longwear weightless foundation it has SPF 15 in it and this is the shade beige 3 it has a little pump, which is nice. I love pumps, put a little bit on my hand. And with the same brush that I use to put on skin gloss, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit, you could see. I've heard about this foundation that it's really nice full coverage, so I'm not going to put too much on. It honestly doesn't look very full coverage. On my hand, it just looks more dewy and skin-like, so let's just see how this works for us. That is very light. This seems like it's gonna be one of those buildable foundations, which is not bad at all. Now that we're done evening out the skin tone, you can still see my skin through the foundation, but it's more even and softer. The little blemishes are a little bit more blurred out. And that's exactly what I'm going for for this look. Now I'm gonna contour. For contour, on this type of look, I'm gonna use a cream. So I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I think this is only $7, which is amazing. And I like the way the doe foot is shaped. It's perfect for those precise little areas that you want to contour and you don't need much so when you first take it out it's going to have a lot of product on it so I'm just wiping it off on my napkin in front of me and I'm just gonna go down my face and define all the features to blend this in I'm gonna use the Luxie 233 large fluff brush and we're just gonna blend all the contour into the skin I like to take it way back into the hairline just so it looks like it's coming from your natural face. <laughs> I'm about to rip off these earrings, so I'm gonna take them off for the rest of the tutorial because I, they're so big, they're getting in the way. So now we're nice chiseled and contoured, so I'm gonna go back in to the foundation a little bit just to make sure that we don't have any spots that are really like sharp and harsh. So I'm gonna take some more of that foundation and with the Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna take it, just take a tiny bit of it and go right below it. I don't want to see any lines on my face from the contour or the foundation, so I want to just blend everything in seamlessly 
You don't wanna know where it begins and where it ends. We don't like any lines here. For the concealer, I'm gonna be using the YSL High Cover Radiant Concealer, and this is in the shade number two. And then to blend in the brightening concealer, I'm gonna use the Sigma Precision Round Brush. Softly buff in the concealer. To add some warmth to my face, I know I have like that contour going on, but I want to add more warmth on the cheeks. So I'm going to take this Milk Matte Bronzer Stick right here, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the cheeks and right over the brows. And I'm just really patting it in with the Beauty Blender. I try to avoid sweeping it or moving it this way because it just removes what you're putting on. So I always use a bouncing motion. Okay, my camera cut off, so I just want to update you guys what I was doing. I only got this far. I haven't blended it in, blah, 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 blended it in yet. Is that a word? I don't know. But I'm using the Catrice Brightening Light Illusion Loose Powder in a yellow matte. And I love, love to use yellows under my eyes to brighten them up. So anything to add a little bit of extra brightness under the eye, I am always down for. I love to try stuff like this. I've used this powder before, I really like it. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a tiny bit and I'm not gonna set any other part of my face. And then with a bronzer, this is from Catrice as well, it's the Sun Glow Matte Bronzer. I'm gonna take the Fenty Bronzer in 190. This is a really interesting looking bronzer brush that I just wanted to try. So I'm gonna take some of that with the Catrice Bronzer and put that right on the cheekbone and blend up. Ooh, this is really, really orangey or red. I'm gonna use just a little bit of that. I almost feel like you can use this to contour. Like if you wanna do powder contour, this would be perfect. Just because the brush is so precise. I'm gonna take this clean brush and just knock off some of that powder. Intensify the glow by using skin gloss once again. I'm gonna take skin gloss and I'm just gonna take it right on my cheekbone right here. And this is what it looks like when you don't blend it out, just so you know where I'm putting it exactly. So this is gonna be a really nice tacky base for our highlight. I don't know about you guys, but I like my ears to glow a little bit too. So I put it on like the highest points of my ear and it just looks so good. I'm so weird, but I think it looks so freaking cool when that whole glowy dimension of the face, body, and ears look on point, you know? And then right over that, I'm gonna apply Pink Haze and pop that on top. Put it right on my top of the brow, kind of over my forehead and down the nose. All the places that I normally would put highlight down the face, chin, cupid's bow, ears. And I want a little bit more of a glow because this gives you more of like an iridescent glow. So I'm gonna go with a little bit more of a golden glow. I'm gonna take golden hour and mix that right on top. After we're nice and glowy, I'm gonna add some flush of color to the cheeks. So I'm gonna take my NARS Orgasm blush. I'm gonna take a little bit of NARS Orgasm and just pop it onto the cheeks. And I'm really just focusing on the apple of the cheek right here, just to have like a natural flush of color. That's it for the face, but after that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray for the face. So now that our face is nice and glowy, we're set. Let's go into the eyes, which are gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna take the bronzer that I used earlier, this one right here from Catrice, and this Luxie Tapered Blending Brush, and just go into the crease of the eye and start to work in some depth. So I'm gonna take the large shader from Luxie and I'm gonna take that underneath the lower lash line with the bronzer. Okay, so for the eyelid, I'm gonna take Skin Gloss right here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Skin Gloss, put it on the back of my hand and mix in Fire Glow Pink Haze. So I'm gonna mix those in and take a little bit more Skin Gloss and I'm gonna make my own custom shadow for my lid. I want it to be wet, prismatic, glossy. So I just mixed on my hand Skin Gloss, Pink Haze, and Fire Glow right there. And I'm gonna take that and put that on my eyelid with my finger. And I'm just mixing these two together by themselves. It's actually really pigmented on its own. You don't need to use the primer. But then when you add the primer on top, it kind of diffuses the color a little bit and it also gives it more of a glossy glow. So I'm gonna take the Skin Gloss again and just put it on the center of the lid and work it in with my clean finger. So we have a halo kind of effect. And since we're all glow 
glowy everywhere. We need to add a pop of glow on the inner corners. So I'm just gonna take this brush right here. It's a concealer brush, but I'm gonna use Pink Haze right here and pop it into the inner corners and just use it on the curve of the brow. Or glossy. So now I'm just gonna use a little bit of liner on my lash line. This mirror in the Prisma Glow palette is so large and in charge. You can see your face, your outfit, your everything. And it's a very like nice flat palette so it fits anywhere. Like I have it in my makeup bag. The pan sizes are nice and large so it just fits everywhere. It's multi-purpose, you can use it on your eyes. And then I'm gonna take Overboard again from ColourPop and put it on the lower lash line about halfway. For lashes, I want something that is flared out but not like crazy and intense. I'm gonna take these Velour lashes right here in the style mini me. For the lower lashes, I'm gonna use the Hank and Henry Clout Mascara. This is one of my favorite lower lash mascaras. The brush is just so tiny and small and fits into every little gap and pulls it out and makes you look like you have lash extensions on your lower lashes. Since our skin's really nice, glowy, bronzy, and just neutral, I want a pop of color for the lip that's a little shiny. So I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Color Riche Luminous Coral and pop that onto the lips. But I'm just gonna dab it in. I don't wanna sweep it in just because I want a soft touch of this coral color. And I want that highlight to still shine through from skin gloss. And if you want, you can put skin gloss on all over the lip and then pop this on top and oh my gosh. So hydrated, so glowy and glossy. You are going to become obsessed with skin gloss. I am obsessed with skin gloss. I use it for everything. It's my primer, it's my highlight. It's just so natural, dewy and fresh looking that I just wanna look like that all the time. You know what I mean? It's so pretty. But this is the completed look, very glossy, very glass-like. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera out and I'm gonna show you how to glow up your body as well. Skin gloss is a must for anything body. Oh my God, I just fall in love with it. It's so good, it hurts. I don't know, that's like the only way to explain it. And I'm just gonna put it on the collarbones without trying to get it on my little straps. You just wanna put it on the highest point of your bone. It's so easy to maneuver too. It doesn't like dry down really fast. So you have time to play around with it before it dries. So you don't have to worry about this sticking in your hair or it getting all over the place just because it kind of sticks right where it is and because it can be used as a primer. It helps for everything to kind of sit in place. And if you can get your glow, your like wet glossy glow to stick in one place without transferring onto anything else, that is like, the most amazing thing, and you get that effect with a skin gloss. Okay, I'm using the wrong hand, but you get, you get the point, right? Oh yes, we are glowing. I can just leave it like that, and to me, that looks very, very, very glowy and glossy without looking too much, and I think that's where I'm gonna stop it on the body portion, and you can actually just do this skin gloss on your face, and that can be a very beautiful glass skin-like finish, but I just wanted to get that really intense glass shine, so I use the powder on top of it. But you can totally use it by itself and it, it will look beautiful. But this is my completed look. I hope you guys love the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up the video. And if you missed these two videos over here, make sure to check them out. And before I let you go, I just wanna remind you that you can accomplish anything. There are no limits. The only limits that there are, are in your own head. There are no limits. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye dollies.